Good morning, friends. It is a early, early Tuesday morning. And just wanted to share some things with you. Uh, I was reading an article on Decafile. And it said that Iran could have a working nuclear weapon by the latter end of 2017. I want you to think of that. Iran, Israel's number one enemy, truly Israel's number one enemy, can have a working nuclear weapon by the end of 2017. Now, <laughs> people, scoffers, you don't think we're not living in the last days? And Israel has already said they are not going to let is uh, uh, Israel has already said they're not going to let Iran obtain a nuclear weapon. I'm telling you, Israel, Israel will do a first strike before they ever let Iran get their hands on a nuclear weapon. That just ain't going to happen. Because Israel has already at one time tried to be exterminated by Adolf Hitler. And they've learned their lesson. You know, they're, they're not going to sit back and let someone drop a bomb on them because they realize how small they are. One bomb, one bomb would wipe Israel off the face of the earth. And Israel's not going to let that happen. God's not going to let that happen. So, when you when you want a sign to just let you know how close we are to all of this wrapping up, that right there uh, is a big news report that you know for so many years back in 2009 2010 2011 Israel has been wanting to do a first strike on Iran and them you know uh, trying to develop a nuclear weapon but America Obama has stopped them time and time again Obama has been the one in fact you know he has said that if if the Israelis fly their jets headed towards Iran he will instruct our fighter jets to shoot them out in the sky. Well, he might instruct them to shoot them out in the sky, but that don't mean that our jets would be able to shoot them out of the sky. Only if God ordained it and allowed it and permitted it, and I don't think God would allow that. Anyway, just there goes, you know, just another uh, thing that points to 2017 being an extremely <laughs> prophetic year. I mean, wow. Uh, mercy. You know, we, we, we probably won't even be there. To, to witness all of these things in 2017 at least I hope we're not you know I, I, I hope we're in, in heaven with the Lord you know one other thing that I want to bring 
up as an example. I have an 18 year old son and he doesn't understand why that I now have, that I've got all my focus on the Lord and his return and our departure opposed to other things years ago you know that that um, that I was planning for and, and doing and as I was uh, thinking about that this is what came to my mind have you ever been in an airport and you you uh, you got let's say a three o'clock p.m. flight. Well, if you get there to that airport early and your flight takes off at three, you got time to walk around the airport to get you a cappuccino, get you a biscuit, get you some lunch. You might actually bump into somebody you know. You know you got time to shop at those little uh little shops and pick you out a souvenir in other words you got time to waste so to speak but the closer it draws to three o'clock and the time that your plane's going to take off <laughs> you don't have time to play around because friend that pilot ain't waiting on you. Whether you get boarded or not, if departure is three o'clock, y'all leaving it, or, or <laughs> it's leaving at three. And I feel that's how it is a little bit in life. You know, a couple of years ago, before all these things started showing just how close we are to departing, we had time, so to speak, you know, to mess around to, you know, not be real serious and diligent with the Lord. And thank God he is patient. But friend, you and I know that plane, so to speak, the rapture jet <laughs> is about to fire up the engines and take off. And whether you're on board or not, and whether I am on board or not, it's leaving. Thing is, we just don't know. We got the ticket. <laughs> we got a ticket to heaven paid for by Jesus Christ. The only thing is the ticket don't tell us what time and day it's taken off. So, we're trying to get many on board through salvation so that we can be ready and that's another thing when you get on board that that plane you don't have time to uh, you don't have time to go get a cappuccino you know you don't get on that plane and say oh miss stewardess uh, I got to go get me a cappuccino or I need me a biscuit oh no we don't do that so you just think about that how that we are in the final moments before the flight takes off and um, we got to get buckled in and turn the cell phones off silence our phones and get ready for takeoff well God bless you friend to soon we will be flying out of here. God bless you.